a step back. In numbers, we also have words for different categories, okay? And uh, there is a big, general, huge heading over all the numbers, and it's called real. And actually, let me just write it normal. And then I'll show you. Real. And we, we use this symbol to indicate what we're, when we are talking about real numbers. is a capital R with a double line to start. That thing by itself means every number that exists. That's what it means. So any number you can think of that exists in reality is a real number. Right? Later on in this course, we'll actually add another category. Uh, next to them. Okay? But not now. Right now, everything that you have is a real number. Okay? Okay? So that's the letter. R. That's the letter for real. In real, there's sort of a split. There's sort of a split, and a number is either on one side or the other. It's not on both. And you'll see when I write the words. One side is the rational side. And the other side is the irrational side, which means it's not rational. Okay, right? You can't be both. You can't be rational and not rational at the same time. Okay. So it's either one or the other. Now, the simplest way to describe a rational number, the simplest definition, is any number that either ends or repeats itself. So to give you examples, 4.1. 0.33333, or in a more extreme example, 0.142857 repeating. Okay. But it repeats. It has a pattern, or it ends. Every rational number, if you write it as a decimal, will either stop or repeat itself. Nice. Um, that's the simplest definition, but that's not the official definition. The official definition is every rational number can be written as a fraction where there are no decimals. 4.1 is 41 over 10. 0.3 repeating, what is that? Uh, one third. One third. Does anyone know what this is? One seventh. Are you serious? Yes, it's one seventh. Okay? If I had. Uh, 0 0.75757577 75, 75, 75, 75, <coughs> so this is 75 over 99. Any number, any number that repeats itself or ends can be written as a fraction without decimals. So what the, the letter that we use for rational, obviously we can't use R, it's already taken. We use the letter Q. And all these letters, they, they have a double line to start on the left side. That's just sort of to separate them from the regular letter Q. This is the letter Q that means something. It means a word. The reason why we use the letter Q is because Q stands for quotient, which means to divide. And if all these numbers can be written as fractions, that means they can all be written as quotients. Divide. Irrational are all the numbers that don't end and don't repeat. Can you think of one number that doesn't end and doesn't five. repeat? Five. The most common example. Five. I only know it to uh, five digits. 3.14159, or decimal places, I should say. And then it continues on for there, and it never has a pattern to repeat itself, ever. Ever. Um, other numbers that would be irrational that you can easily tell if they're irrational, is any square root, any square root that doesn't come out there. The reason I didn't write all these in here is because there are more categories under rational. There are, oh, there's only one category over here. It's irrational. That's the only category. Over here, there's extra categories. What's the symbol for irrational? I, with the double line. And please don't write it like a big Roman numeral too. Skinny. All right, so under rational, 
are more numbers, and the first category, the bigger, bigger category out of all these, is called integers. And integers are any number without a decimal. So examples would be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Both ways, negative 1,000, 155 million, 863,241. As long as I don't go point and keep going, it's an integer. Okay? So, and then under that, and here's where it gets kind of silly, our categories. There's whole numbers, which starts at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, so on. And then there's another category called natural numbers. And these are also referred to as accounting numbers. If I pick up some pens and I start counting them, I don't go, I have zero pens. I have one pen. I have two pens. I have three pens. I have four pens. I start with one. One, two. They're called accounting numbers because they're the numbers you count with. One, two, three, four, da, 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 da. Between whole and natural, what's the only difference? Zero. zero. Whole number has zero. That's okay. Natural number does not. That's it. It's the only difference. All right, now for the letters for these. Whole and natural are easy to remember because whole is W. Natural is N. The one that's tough to remember because, you know, you see that it, I is taken for irrational. N is taken if you wanted to use the next letter for natural. They don't use T or actually any letter that's in that word. This is the one that I have no idea why it is, the way it is, it just is. It's Z. And the double line goes down the slant. I, I, my guess is that they were like, what letter should we use? Well, Z's never used for anything. You know, that's probably what the decision was. Okay, so that's your categories, and these are the letters that you can write instead of writing out the whole word, because that would take forever on some problems. All right, so let's go back to this problem. What sets does this number belong to? Okay, it's... What kind of number would you call it if I just asked you what kind of number is that? What would you say? Don't worry about these sets. You call it a fraction, right? Okay, which thing, the official definition was, it's a fraction. You can kind of look over there, I drew a bunch of fractions up. Rational. Rational. Rational means it's a fraction, but the fraction can't have like decimal. It could be like a two point. Well, I mean, it could be easy. Never mind. <laughs> but the idea is, is you can write it as a fraction. That just a regular old fraction that's not a crazy fraction. Okay? And so it's rational because I can write it like a fraction. So this, I'm going to put Q for rational. But that's not the only letter I put. I don't just put the one that's the most specific. It wants all the sets. And every single number that you're going to have is going to be what kind of number? What's the big one? Real. Real. Every single answer that asks you this question should have this on it. If you don't, you missed something, and you'll be counted as wrong. You need to say it's a real number. It exists. It's a real number. Every single one. 